on the road to Jubilee City. Okay, okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. Oh, and we got a Shinx here. Someone suggested to me that I should use it on my team since it's a fairly good team member, in quotes. Well, it's not bad early on because it evolves twice. It reaches its final form at level 30, in fact. That's pretty early. But it really starts falling apart at around level 40 or so because it doesn't learn any better move than Spark. Alright, this is our first trainer battle in this game. It's nothing really special and yeah, our eyes met, so battle we must. Seems like in every single game, the first trainer you meet always says something about our eyes met, and so battle we must. Even though he was looking at me, but I wasn't looking at him. So, really makes no sense as I pointed out in previous LPs. But back to Luxray. Yeah, usually you'd think a Pokemon that learns its best move at level 18 wouldn't be that bad, but seriously, no Pokemon is gonna learn something like, um, well, to be honest, there aren't many good physical electric moves out there, so I guess I can't really provide an example, but yeah, the point is, Luxray has decent enough stats, but no moves at all to use them with. Of course, in Generation 5 it picked up Wild Bolt, to compensate for the lack of power of uh, Spark, but it comes at a price, namely, that you gotta deal with Recoil. And to be honest, I'm really curious to see how Wild Bolt is gonna get used. I mean, it's not nearly as powerful as something like Flare Blitz. The reason why Flare Blitz works so well compared to Fire Punch is because the difference in power between the two is 45, whereas between Thunder Punch and Wild Bolt, there's only 15. Now, of course, Wild Bolt does have a bit less recoil than Flare Blitz, but not by too much. It's a quarter for uh, a quarter of the damage done for Wild Bolt and a third for Flare Blitz. So, yeah, I can see people still sticking with Thunder Punch, though. Though, to be honest, the extra power of Wild Bolt is appealing nonetheless, especially for Luxray, who doesn't even get. A thunder Punch to begin with, only Spark, so you can be sure that it's gonna carry Wild Bolt from now on. But for other stuff, well, that remains to be seen. Especially the newer Pokémon, since they took out the Elemental Punch Tutors AGAIN! Yeah, I, I really hate how they do that. No, no Elemental Punches in Ruby and Sapphire, they add Tutors in Emerald, they take them back, in Diamond and Pearl, and then they give them back in Platinum, and then they take them back again in Black and White. Oh, well. <laughs> My Pokémon are all tuckered out. I need to go to a Pokémon Center. Well, so do I. Those the repeated battles are really, uh, hammering poor Turtwig here. I'm just gonna put those moves in order. Here we go, because I picked up Absorb, which isn't gonna do much damage, especially with the impish nature, but nonetheless, it's going to be a fairly useful move to score super effectives with, and to finish off weak Pokémon and grab one or two HP back in the process. Of course, it's only one or two HP, but at that stage of the game, that's almost a full hit, so I'm not complaining at all. And while I make my way back to where I was, there is just one thing I want to talk about. I don't have much of a right to make a mistake now, do I? In the last video, I mentioned that I didn't think you ever met the Barry's father in the game, but I conveniently forgot all about Palmer. So you were thousands and thousands and thousands to tell me in the comment section that yes, you do meet Barry's father and it's Tower Tycoon Palmer. So, as a, an attempt to do some damage control, I added an, an annotation, but the damage was done. There's still a bajillion comments about how, oh yeah, yeah it's actually Palmer. And as and it, a, the, a similar thing happened in my latest The Room video where I wondered what TGIF meant and Everyone was all, it's thank god it's Friday, so once again I was forced to add an annotation uh, to tell people that I knew exactly what it was now that people had told me, because people would have kept writing about it, not reading the comments at all, and of course, it gets really annoying after a while. So, from now on, new rule, if I make a mistake or ask a question, 
after 20 minutes of the video being up, you don't have to answer anymore because some somebody else definitely did. Okay? So I just want you I just want you to remember that just so I don't get a headache from reading comments anymore. And I think I have the time to rant about something else before reaching Jubilife, so Remember, uh, at some point in my Emerald LP when I was talking about what kind of potential the encourageability would eventually have in black and white? Well, my theory that I put forward was completely off. I suggested that maybe they would add the added, uh, the chance of added effect to the base powers. For example, Fire Punch would have 85 instead of 75, but that's not it at all. The increase is a flat 50% for everything that does have an added effect. Now remember that stab down moves like overheat and recoil moves like double edge do not work with encourage just like everyone foresaw. However, Flare Blitz does get a 50% boost by virtue of its 10% burn chance. Of course, the recoil of Flare Blitz isn't cancelled out, only the burn chance is. So imagine, if you will, a Flare Blitz from Hihi Daruma off 140 base attack and Anchorage and Stab and yeah, it's going to be massive, 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 MASSIVE damage. Definitely one of my favorite new abilities, especially since you got stuff like Needle King, Needle Queen, Tauros, or Alligator, getting it. They even gave it to a legendary. They gave it to Randorosu, which is the third of the Genie Trio, and it's got stuff like Earth Power and all kinds of other moves to, to put the hurting on opponents with, so yeah, I wouldn't say it's going to be Uber, but still. It's going to be a definite threat. <laughs> There's no way it's going to be anything else than overuse with all the ouchies it can give. So, I think, okay, the, the path up there leads to Jubilee, but there's anything past that? Yep, there is. There looks to be an item, so probably something you know, low-end like a potion or an antidote or maybe a paralysis heal or something. So, let's go and take a look, and it's a potion! Yeah, well, at least I'm not gonna spit on a potion at this stage of the game, especially since 20 HP is still two-thirds of my Turtwig's max HP, and here we go again. Now, we, we've been seeing Dawn a lot in this early game, didn't we? I, I think we've seen her in every single video so far, and even twice in some videos. And okay, I think she's going to direct me to the trainer school. Yep, yeah, it's the trainer school. There's a trainer school early on in every Pokemon game. We got one in Viridian, we got one in Violet City, we got one in Rustboro, and now this one in Jubilife. And oh, there's a very suspicious man. This is actually a policeman. Doesn't look like it, but he was actually hired by the International Police Force. They must be really short on staff to hire this doofus. Well, how did you unmask me as a member of the International Police? <laughs> They're just making conversation. Oh god, this, this guy is just freaking crazy. You know, He's a policeman, but in the end, he lets kids and their pets do all the job for him. You know, just like Inspector Gadget, except without the gadgets. Anyway, this guy's code name is Looker. We don't know of his real name, and he's one of two characters, two old characters to make a cameo in black and white, the other being Cynthia. But, yeah, an elite of the international police on top of that? Yeah, they're really short staff. There's no way they would hire a guy like him otherwise. And... Okay, don't be a thief, blah blah blah. Okay, is he gonna give me a thief TM or something like that? Apparently those who do not heed those words. Because usually that kind of line is the lead up to giving me a TM of some sort, but... Oh no, doesn't look like I'm gonna get a, a thief TM here. And... Oh, he's gonna give me something. Maybe that's it. No, it's the Versus Recorder. I thought for a second it was gonna be the Thief TM, but yeah, he's giving me the Versus Recorder because, well, the, the way it works is that if you have a match on wireless or Wi-Fi, you can use the Versus Recorder to record it, and afterwards you can put it up on the internet for everyone to see. 
And he's not letting us go just yet, huh? Man, what a chatterbox for a super secretive police agent. He sure talks a lot to strangers he's never met before. Yeah, I totally feel safe with people like him protecting us. No wonder there are criminal gangs right, left, and center in the Pokemon world. Team Rocket, Team Aqua, Team Magma, Team Galactic, Team Plasma. Oh well, and okay, this is the trainer's school, but we're not going to head there just yet. No oh, Barry's there, though. But we're still going to explore the city from south to north, because it's a lot easier to keep track of. Nope, there's nothing there. And yes, yeah, City of Joy. Is there anything in that building? Well, that's not what I meant. I meant, is there something interesting in there? Well, of course there's not anything interesting in every single building, but it's still interesting to go and talk to people, talk to everyone you see, and go places, go wherever you can. <laughs> that's exactly what I was about to say, maybe not verbatim, but still, it's interesting to visit places and talk to people just in case you might get something interesting. But since Jubilife is the largest city in uh, Sinnoh, I was about to say the largest city in issue. No, the largest city in issue is uh, is High End City. But since Jubilife is the largest city in Sinnoh, as I was going to say, there are lots of things to explore, lots of things to do, and not just boring NPCs. Evolution makes Pokemon... You know, the concept of evolution in Pokemon is really weird because it's really mislabeled. Evolution in Pokemon is more like metamorphosis in the real world, whereas evolution in the real world is something that takes thousands and even millions of years to happen. It's a gradual process, so it's really impossible to observe to the naked eye. Unlike metamorphosis, for example, a butterfly that comes out of a cocoon, that's metamorphosis, which is the basis of quite a few examples of evolution in Pokemon. Do you know much about Pokemon? Well, we're gonna try and answer no, see what he's gonna say. But not to worry. And yeah, of course it was going to be a plug for the trainer's school, which is at the top left of the screen. Let's see what happens if I answer yes. I see, you are knowledgeable. Oh, we didn't see the need to visit the trainer's school. But still, um, we're gonna check it out, if only because actually in this trainer's school there are trainers to battle. And your prize for defeating them is the Hidden Power TM, which comes in very handy if you want to catch an Abra on Route 203 and raise it to Kadabra without having other Pokémon do the leveling up job for it. And as you can see, the Wi-Fi corner is still closed. I'm, I'm not, I don't really remember when it gets unlocked or if it's only locked up because I'm using an emulator, but okay. I already mentioned it in Emerald, but uh, the the emulator that I'm using is capable of bypassing automatic wireless checks, but it can't bypass Wi-Fi checks, which explains why I can go to the underground in Diamond and Pearl, but not in Platinum, because there's an automatic Wi-Fi check that's performed in Platinum that wasn't performed in Diamond and Pearl, so I wanted to show you the underground and what it was like, but unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that. So let's head into the trainer's school. Wrote an essay in my notebook. Notebook? Wow. It's about time this video ends because I'm starting to slaughter every word in the dictionary. Notebook. Wonderful. In fact, I think I'm going to grab the item and talk to the teacher and then I'm going to be done for today because um, I'm not going to bother talking to Barry because it's sure to be a long conversation and I can't save mid-conversation anymore, so... I guess it's going to have to wait until next time, so see you next time for more Jubilife Exploration.